Feminism is responsible for achieving some great things for women, and some might say for men as well. While most acknowledge that some believe the women's rights movement has gone too far, and many men feel left out or left behind. In the past few weeks, we've seen proposals for women-only train carriages and parking, and a new domestic violence campaign from the federal government, which some say unfairly targets men. So have men become second-class citizens? Joining us to discuss is Daily Telegraph columnist Miranda Devine, Hi. commentator Mark Latham, in Melbourne columnist for The Guardian Van Battam, and in Brisbane is Sunday Mail columnist Rory Gibson. Good morning to you all. Now, morning. Firstly, Good morning. Thank you. Firstly to you, Miranda. You tackle this issue quite a bit in your column. Um, it, it would seem that you think that men are pretty shabbily treated? I do. I think there's a toxic form of sort of victim feminism which holds that men are all uh, brutes, they're, they're all little boys, they're incipient wife bashers, um, and that women are helpless victims. And, you know, it's fainting couch feminism. And I think it doesn't do women any good. It's really very retrograde. It's turning back a hundred years of feminism in which women are supposed to be strong and equal. But the, the kind of feminism you're talking about is, is, is kind of not the mainstream of feminism. Just in the same way as you know pro-rape groups are not the mainstream of male thinking. Oh yes it is. It is the loudest form, it is the most prominent form and you only have to look at the domestic violence, uh, anti-domestic violence campaigns that are being run in which every male is a perpetrator, every woman is a helpless victim. Well they're not saying that every male is a perpetrator. Yes they are. You no, look at the, new, the government's new ads, they show a little boy pushing down a little girl, the little girl is perfect, the little boy is a monster. You know, you're already sort of criminalising masculinity at the age of seven. What I, don't, I would disagree because I identify myself as a feminist. A lot of my f friends do. I certainly don't think all men are rapists. I just believe that we should be paid equally and um, I believe that we should have the same rights in the workplace and not be discriminated against. So I don't th agree that all feminists think all men are rapists. And no, I don't think all feminists do, but I think that the reigning kind of paradigm of the, the sort of feminism that you see in the media, that you read about, it's this creeping, in, it just insidious uh, attack on males and masculinity and that, you know, the, the type of masculinity masculinity that we, um, you know, that has protected humankind yeah. from time immemorial I see that is now criminalised.